previously on Gerb's Nail. You see, if we um, take our attention, where is it? There it is. There is a dev representation of this entire area. Um, the new challenge of what we're looking at here, um, obviously there is no box or the it's this is out of box. But as well, the box is pretty low here, so I'm guessing we are going to be able to find something along this big old stretch of rock up here to IRB to. And now the conclusion, as we find a place to IRB onto that big old stretch of rock. Hello, my name is Group Snail, and today um, we are continuing a video I made last week, a few days ago, I don't know, time's weird. Anyways, we went into the new Dual Destiny mission, and um, today I'm going to actually be following up on that, although I must say, right here, right now, this video ends in tragedy. But I thought I would still make a video because, um, you know, it's still a pretty cool route and it does show a lot of fundamentals that are going to be important for other people's um, projects. So, yeah, um, let's get started. Alright, so real quick to show you what I had going on here. Um, I first made a whole bunch of markers around this little piece of rock here. And by little I mean absolutely massive. And I put markers around and then I just went to each load to see which one would be there and the impasse lines up very well with the sort of top corner like this right here lines up very well with this right here and you know it's a very nice large target as well so uh, what you're gonna do for this is that you're going to die like about 10 meters above this like top ridge here um, you can die way further up like you could die up here and your ghost would still hit but Make sure that it is above this ridge. You'll actually see in my footage that I was a little too low, and so my spawn was invalid. Alright, hi there. This is post-recording Gerb Snail from the next day after. Uh, I'm going to re-show this part because I didn't have it in my uh, video. So we're just going to head off this way and go through the first part of the mission. I need to be on stasis. And we're going to throw on that hand cannon again. Okay. Hopefully I have it by the time we get down to where we need to be. So, um... Yeah, so this first part, uh... We're gonna be... We have to do a little bit of funkiness because this is the only mission that has, like, viable auto reses. And unfortunately, uh, in order to get further into the patrol from here, we do have to avoid a massive barrier, and that requires some jumping down and up and going around, and it's just not a fun process. But um, this is the fundamentals for what you're going to see with a lot of glitches and such. Um, I know that there is a route cooking for getting inside the little box underneath the blooming. Um, we did a prototype of that last night, and I bungled my IRB points, so... <laughs> It didn't work out to get all three of us in there. Um, kind of ironic. I also bungled this IRB point, but... I'm just bad at mid-air dying these days. I wish that we had... Um, I wish that we had Touch of Malice still. To just die wherever you needed with extreme precision. It's so useful. Damn PvP nerds. Or PV I don't even know who to blame for that one. That's just Bungie. Alright, so we're going to head into this lost sector here. And I'm not being sword ammo conservant at all because I don't need it <laughs> for the rest of this since this is the only part I'm doing. Uh, you're going to avoid the green puddle because that's what spawns the ads. doesn't matter if you spawn them, but it just makes things easier. And you're just going to head over to this corner. And then you're just going to slide on through and you are out of map. So from here, we're just going to jump around, nice and easy. We're going to now pop underneath, and then pop back up on the other side, and all will be well. 
So, if I was here with a fire team, um, I would kill myself right here on this spot and then go further. But because my luck with this uh, load zone is pretty good, I'm going to make the hedge bet that um, I don't die. However, uh, knowing Gerb's law and how that works, uh, I'm going to die. There we go. Anyway, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go right back through. Um, by the way, Gerb's law. I now have time to explain it. Um, you will only die to a load when you're trying to IRB, or when you're not trying to IRB. That's that's all it is. I can guarantee you as well, even when I do set my death point in it, convincing the game that I'm IRBing, it knows that it's not true. There we go, that's what we want. All right. So, as well, if you have your friends who are be there, you'll go forward. But, in this case, we're just going to go straight for it. So, we're going to head down this way. Uh, it doesn't take too much ammo, and in fact, probably could take no ammo. And you're just going to head down to this water. And then we walk forward into the very intangible everything. Because, for whatever reason, the stuff like out of map and out of box in... The Pale Heart seems to be very, um, non-tangible a lot of time. So I can just casually walk through the floor, walk through everything, and we are just trying to find the edge of the water. I have made a wrong step, so we're gonna go back. Yeah, it's more about finding your destination once you're out over this way oh yeah I recognize this just gonna follow along here and follow along here there we go this is what I expected all right so you're gonna want to go on here and you're gonna walk around I'm gonna keep walking around you're gonna have to casually just slide along this uh, this is a berry approach oh come on game Everything has gone wrong in this footage. I'll just do that. To save time. And now we begin the stasis climb. So your end goal is to get up there and right above us that isn't solid, but uh, we're just trying to hit the next the next load over in refraction. Which is also ironically our destination. But in order to get there, we have to you have to get going. Alright, so I'm going to take this time because you do not need to see full speed stasis climbing. It is as slow as you think it is. Um, but I want to say a big thank you to Abby. Uh, she's the one who routed this first half and um, for her own uses for a video that might not even be made. So, um, yeah, uh, big thank you to her. And as well, a uh, big thank you to my five separate friends that in this instance decided to um, send me like 13 Discord pings in a row, so I had to uh, stop during this and like respond to all that, so like I said, everything is going wrong in this video. But as you can see, we are just climbing up nice and easy. It is not a very hard climb at all, and um, one thing to note is that you are right up against a barrier, and that is something as well if you're... Uh, if you're a nerd with a navigator and proper real fast strats, um, you will have to be aware of that. But, generally speaking, you just want to climb up, and you're going to climb up some more, and you're going to try to get up to where the load is, because, like I said, this entire point is to bypass one barrier. How wonderful. Alright. I'm not making this up, folks. My roommate just walked in, as well. The entire world does not want me to make this video, and very specifically, the last part I need to live record. Okay, so anyways, I need to remember my own route. Um, and by my own, I mean Abby, this is all her work. I'm just going back and doing this again. Let me guess, more climbing. We're almost there, everyone.
that's where we are, by the way. All right, we're back in business. We're going places that we need to. There's our orange barrier. But we just have to jump around the big giant things we can't see. Including the other big giant things we can't see. Slowly but surely make our way through and around. Hello, can I please see the thing I can't see? There we go. Now that we've hit refraction, you can just die. Boy, howdy, that, that whole thing went wrong. I'm going to chop that up into little bits and make sure that was not as horrible of an experience as um, it was for me. And we're going to continue. Everything went wrong. Oh yeah, and by the way, in order to get back, uh, because someone will have to return, um, all you have to do is just ju like, jump right over, get out of map, go down here, sword fly your way along. Avoid the big orange barrier that's still there for some reason. Continue along like this. Walk around to the other side. And there you go, you're back in map. So, with that, we go back to the footage that we had last night and we're gonna go do the whole route. Okay, so real quick, actually, before we go to that pre-recorded footage, um, I'm gonna show you this whole beforehand as well. So, um, in the mission, that door is going to be closed, you'll see it in the footage. And in order to avoid it, we're going to actually, once again, pop out a map in the law sector. So, in order to do that, we are going to hop on over here to the Bloomin' Deep. Ignore the enemies, and immediately exit the map. We're going to just do it by walking up here and leaving. And then continue to walk up here and leave. So, now that we're out of map, we're going to follow along this little natural channel here that is made. We're going to go along here, hang a right, and you're going to look for this sort of landmark structure here. Uh, if you wanted to die the load, you'd go down, like, you'd go down over there and then, like, go along the edge of the barrier and then right there, that little green patch inside the dirt. Um, that is where the death to load would happen, but we aren't trying to die, so instead we're going to go over here. And there you go. And so now, I'm just going to pop under the map, and we're going to start heading this way. Um, by the way, there is that box that Avi got into, and has a route to get all three people into if uh, one person doesn't just mess up the death. Hello, it is I, the one person. And uh, we're gonna just keep going this way. Because to get under the door, you simply just go under. Um, just like this. You can drive your sparrow straight through, and we're gonna hang it left. There is gonna be some invisible geometry around here. Um, I'm gonna go over here, actually. But I, I believe in your ability to uh, make your way through the map and get down here. And once you're down here, this is basically back in bounds. So, um, I just did a funky little thing there, uh, just eager edge, push myself back up that, but as well, um, if you're struggling to find your way down here, um, if you're in this spot, you can also go over here. This is very open, and then you can just sparrow fly up. Either works. And by the way, at this point forward, we do have access to sparrows, which is very nice. And, uh, yeah, I think that's the rest. Um, you know what, I might as well just quickly show you this as well, although this one is really, really easy. Um, but, for completion's sake and making sure that I, uh, don't have to do any more footage gathering for this video. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna just fly up this way. Hello, enemies. 
And for whatever reason, this uh, this wall up here is just not tangible, so you can go straight through and out of map. And this right here is where um, I suggest that you do your sink box. And also conveniently, right here is a funky little spot where you drive forward and your sparrow gets despawned. And as well, if you like get back on at the t proper time, it'll like kind of half PDR you, but not really. Something we're still investigating. Okay, now we go on to the pre-recorded footage. All right, so a lot of this is going to be sped up to like 5x speed because you've already seen all this, but I just wanted to show it anyways, just for completion's sake. Um, you're going to see that a lot of times I run ahead and then stop and look behind because this is the fir first time that either um, Froggy or Cube have done this, so um, this was me showing them along like at the same time as recording, which is why I went back and showed you all the previous sections because a lot of time we just kind of fumbled around or didn't do it quite right, but it is what it is. Anyway, so here you see uh, Froggy accidentally hitting the green portal and spotting the ads, but that's fine. And now we go forward, we set our deaths right here, um, once we wait for uh, Froggy and everybody else to catch up, it's really a common trend. And now we go forward and hit the death. Um, as always, for whatever reason, I just don't die to that load, except for when I'm recording it, and I'm trying not to die to it, of course. And, um, there we go. So when I res Froggy, he, uh, died a little too close up top, so he had to go back and retry it, but I could skip forward in the footage just fine. Alright, so this time, um, I guide everyone through on the correct path this time, instead of taking a right and screwing around. And now we go here. And I start my stasis climb, except uh, I do not complete it, and instead just casually uh, rejoin on them once they get through. Alright. So now, uh, the hooligans make their way back in bounds, and then I continue along, as well showing where we're going in Outcast. And there you can see my weird line contraption thing that I did, again. You know, maybe I can bug Koei to make objects, like, appear in all loads or something. That would be pretty cool. So, we just continue along. Um, sadly, you do have to do this entire thing manually. There's no shortcut portals or anything. So. In the blooming, we head around. And then we make our way up into the, uh... Up into the Lost Sector, because, like I said before, that door is closed, so you can't go through. Now that I think about it now, I should probably add a flashing warning at the start of this. I'll do that right after I'm done recording this. But here you can see us getting lost because once again we just took a wrong turn. And we just kind of messed around in the lost sector for a while trying to find where we were trying to go. But eventually we do make it back to where we want to. And we continue along. But first we both have to now suffer in post waiting for previous there we go okay now I shepherd these people along come on froggy you can do it and we hit the load and we continue under the map just like before using our sparrows to get through And we go back around and through and down and up and down and up and down. Waiting for everybody to get through. And I go back to try to help them. I don't know why, but this specific area, when it's your first time going through, it's like oddly confusing on how you need to be to get up. But they all make it eventually. And we just continue down. Once again, no skipping portals, so we have to go be sad with Zavala. And also all three of us got stuck with our spares because we all tried to take it through. And just like that, we run through. But we're not done. We're making our way all the way to the impasse, so we just continue along. And 
Once again, it's just a whole lot of jumping and a whole lot of not interesting things to talk about. But I don't know what else I can say. Um, I am working on the 1,000 subscriber special. Uh, once again, thank you all. But I'll do a proper, more gracious thank you once that video comes out. Uh, I am on page three of single space uh, script, so, and I just got to basically the start of why I wanted to make the video in the first place, so um, it's going to be a long one. It's going to be really long. We're going to take a lot of footage, um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be probably the largest project I've ever done. All right, so everybody gets through. I said everybody gets through. There we go. You head down here. And now uh, Cube in fast motion does his own little sinky thing. I do my own little sinky thing. And I, uh, and I do my little sink box out. Yeah, any second now. Hey, there we go. So first thing you want to do while you're out of box is uh, fly up to the Cosmodrome walls that are in the background. Because for whatever reason, those walls are just solid. Some of the only solid things out in the uh, Pale Heart, I still don't know why it's just so difficult to um, find solid stuff in the Pale Heart, but I don't know. They did something new with this, and it's very strange. Anyways, we walk along here, and we continue out, um, and take a stop here, and then we fly all the way out to our destination, that ridge I showed you at the start of the video. Now we just fly around a little bit, do a few attempts. So this is me just uh, messing it up once, so I'm going to do it again, yada yada so funny to see like my kind of slipstreaming in um, high speed because it just looks so ridiculous but all right here we go we slow down to regular speed here and I do the technique where I get fall damage by getting on my sparrow then I hop off and then I use my sidearm to kill myself so there, that probably would have been a good death to load, but um, because I was screwing around and accidentally slip-flipped myself to death, um, I had to go back, and I don't think I had a recording of it, because at some point I did stop. Um, but what I just showed you was good. Um, I'm guessing what I did was a little too low, which is unfortunate. So I saw these things out here, and I have no idea why, but the trees from previous loads just exist out here. If I were to guess, they're from the landing... Like the landing type area, maybe Lost City, I'm not sure. But there we go, just a little bit of out of box exploration. Sadly, I did not record the part when I went out to the other side because that would have been nice to include in the video, but that's a shame. Anyways, um, now back in slow motion. Um, once Froggy got his death going as well, we both made our way inbounds, and I just did a casual superhero landing because I've got my stasis super. And that just nullifies um, fall damage. But you could also block with a sword, or you could sword swipe, or you could just land it and be a chat at 1 HP, but I don't recommend that because there's ads. But, yeah. And now we speed up the footage once again because now we make our way all the way back to the refraction. Um, this takes so much just running. I will be slowing the footage down once we hit the blooming because you do have to go back like all the way um, sort of the backwards route of what we did to get past the blooming but once again we have a little bit of time to not really explain any of the routes so like I said I'm on page three of that video it is ridiculously long and it's gonna take a lot of people's help so I will have many a credit once that comes out um but i'm trying to be i'm trying to be as faithful as possible with it and i i feel kind of bad because it is kind of the history of oh look at all this cool stuff that i did but i don't know it's 
it's one of those things where I, uh, I, I'm, I'm not completely proud of everything I did, and I will talk about that further once we get there, but it's, um, it was my favorite time in Destiny, and I do want to, you know, I, I do want to memorialize that and show the people that weren't there during the time how fun it was to be a glitcher around then. At the same time, not fun. I don't know. You'll see. Anyways, the rest of the team gets here. And at this point, we go back to uh, regular motion to continue the route. So, as you saw at the start, we just jump back down. Go through all the intangible stuff. Froggy follows along. So it's kind of funny, I, I, I'm i always a background character, used to be a background character in Froggy's videos, it's kind of funny that now he's he's the one who's the background character. <laughs> Probably shouldn't say that, I don't know, I'm rambling, this is why I, this is why I don't record for that long. Anyways, we get through, and we make our way back to the Law Sector. And we wait for Froggy to uh, hit his um, hit his sparrow. There we go. Now we just want to fly up on top of this uh, here rock and make your way back into the law sector. And by this point, we actually knew where to go and didn't require uh, didn't require any shenanigans or tomfoolery. And so this time, we just jump right back in. I say shenanigans and tomfoolery, but it does take me a moment to find the big giant bright light that I have to go towards. And there we go. We get back in map. Then from here, we speed up the footage once again and quickly make our way all the way back to the start. And at this point, um, this is when you want your third friend to go back to the very start of the mission, where they will then um, hit the auto res and continue on. Um, in theory, this is not the operation that you would do to... Uh, oh, here we go. I continue the footage, but you've already seen this before in the previous video, so I'll just keep talking. So, if you wanted to get three people out here, which um, there is no point to do it, as you'll find eventually, but... Um, you, this is not the order of operations for that. But at this point, your friend at the start is going to be going through the dial puzzle um, and as well preparing to begin the boss fight, but not quite starting the boss fight because um, that is uh, not like... that. That's what the IRB is, or the auto res. So here we go. This is me just explaining Froggy the sword flight. Now we continue, same way as before. And here we are. You can already see me messing up because it's been so long. At this point, uh, this would be like hour two of attempting this, or like doing this route. It's not a very fast one. We do spend a lot of time just waiting around. And there you can see in the chat, Elite uh, just finished the objective. And now we once again head down into the funnel. Just nice and casual along here. Uh, once again, personally, I just use the strat of go all the way forward. Once the barrier stops you, then you go down, and then you go forward again. Although it's not a very stair-steppy funnel, so in theory you could immediately drop down to the level of the uh, structure and go from there, but I don't know. I uh, 
can't approve of that. Anyways, I'm going to turn on the sound here in a second because you can just see I messed up my sword flight and I got terrified. So here's the live recording of that. Oh, fuck. The hell do you mean? I lost you my wanna, jump. You want to so, see something done? Hit the load. Yeah. I don't have a grapple load. A, I'm dead. It felt Froggy? Wrong. Wait, no, I'm alive. He doesn't belong here. I begged him not to go inside, but, but you know how he is. I tried to follow. I did. I did. I'm glad I need hearing to the dialogue the three times. Place, the cave, it's, it's Wait, impossible what? for me to push past it all. Stay where you are. We'll find a way through. Oh my god. Really? Welcome to the back side of the load. Box here goes out so fucking far, too. My heart is pounding so hard right now. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. There's a reason I did not say anything. <laughs> Wait, did you hit it? No, not yet. I still have to walk the last, like, three feet. He just, uh, he just fell out, and then he unfell out. Yeah, I recovered. Thank you for not saying anything, Froggy. Oh my god. I was gonna say this is why Strand. But... Um, Here well... is the mind killer. All right. So fear is indeed the mind killer. That's right. You can always recover. Do sword flights. Um, it, for the rest of this footage, by the way, my hands are just actively shaking um, because that was as close. And at the moment, I thought I still had like a really good active, um, you know, death. So I didn't. I I was panicking, but you make it through. Anyways, uh, you want to make your way to the beginning of the load, and what you want to do to actually die here, um, I do spend the time to point it out to Froggy, um, you do want to just mash your face against the left wall, uh, but I don't do that because in case I did hit it, and of course I would if I uh, attempted to, um, I did want to show the, how you would uh, mess it up. So, Froggy also messed up, but... What you do, you hit the refraction back at the start of that little, like, cave thing, and then you make your way right back out of the map. And here you see me failing to get into a hole, so Froggy has to lend me a hand. And, um, we continue. So, right back out, right around, of course, waiting for the frogster. And we have once again approached the front of the load. And here we go. As well, I turn my frame rate cap off so I have extra high frames, so I do hit it. And Froggy does not hit it. And neither do I, so we skip forward. Here you go. You see me doing exactly the same thing, and... All that work, that sword flight recovery, was all for nothing, because clearly when I replaced my res, it didn't count. But fortunately, Froggy had much more uh, success. You can see here, he um, in a second, he does hit it. And, of course, on my screen, I immediately all tab out and go take a look at it, um, which is why I go to Outcast. But you can see in the top left corner, he does make it. Um... So, what I do at that point is that I go ahead and leave and rejoin, um, and kill the boss with Elite. It is a very, very easy boss to kill. Very little health, especially since we are in normal mode. And just like that, in the bottom left of our screen, Froggy is revived at the top of the map. So, now at this point, we go to Frog Vision. There we go, Froggy Cam. Thank you very much, Froggy, for letting me use your footage. He is out of bounds in this area. So he does a little bit of sword gain before we continue, so I skip forward past that part. But here we go. Froggy is going to fly out and for the first time get to that dev structure. So we begin the sword flight. And... It's not there. The structure, for whatever reason, it shows up in Outcast, and I don't know what's going on, and I speed up the footage now, just so you can see the uh, all the views that he has, but we, we flew around this area, and by we, I mean Froggy flew around this area for 
a good 20 minutes and there's just nothing and I don't understand why. It's really crazy, but that's why I said at the start of this video, it ends in tragedy. There is nothing here and you can see now Froggy flies up to see if maybe you can find it from above, but where he was at that start was exactly on top, like right there, he should have been on top of the structure and it's just not there at all. And in fact, um, while we were doing this, Rhythm managed to double sync box out to, uh, out to the structure and patrol, and it's not there either. So I don't know what's going on, or why Alka has shows it, or maybe there's like a specific mission we have to be in, although the Alka uh, activity I was using uh, was just free roam, so it was patrol, it should have been there. I don't understand it, but end result is that whatever this dev structure is, it's gone, and... We can't see it anymore. So, that's that's it for the video, really. I mean, I'll do a proper outro here in a second, but that's all the footage I have, and it's you know quite unfortunate. Although, the view's pretty nice. And that is where we end our video today. Like I said, it ends in tragedy, but I don't know. I still think that it was a fun route to do, and it's been a while since I've done an actual proper thing with all... All the friends out over in Raid Secrets, so... It was nice. Um, I don't know when the next video is going to be at this point. The last one is, you know, the big one, and that's going to take a while. And I've, you know, I've suspended the map tutorial until I finish it, so... It'll be a while, um, and also I've got work starting up in a couple weeks as well, so it's just... Things are happening in my life again, but... I would like to once again say thank you to Avi for showing me the route in the first place, or the like start of that route, and then to Froggy, uh, Cube, and Elite for coming along for this uh, this journey. And um, yeah, that's it. Pretend there's a cool outro.